السنة التي مرت منذ بداية الحرب الأوكرانية زرعت الكثير من الشكوك حول مسار تحول الطاقة وما إذا كانت العناصر متوفرة لنجاحه بالسرعة المطلوبة الرئيس التنفيذي لشركة أكوا باور إحدى أكبر الشركات العاملة في مجال الطاقة المتجددة في المنطقة السيد بادي بادامنتان لديه وجهة نظر مختلفة فهو يرى أن التحدي أمام تحول الطاقة لا يكمن في توافر المواد الأولية ولا في التمويل بل في بناء القدرات البشرية لنتابع ما قاله لمستقبل الطاقة We are horribly, horribly behind schedule. So whatever transition plan we have needs to be multiplied and accelerated. Okay, so that's a reality. Uh, so the answer is no. But can we do it? Absolutely we can. The technology is there. The appetite is there. The financing is there. It's all about bringing it together and avoiding discussion of why we cannot do it, but coming together to work together to do it. So I don't think we should be wasting time fighting different factions or communities. Forget about this. Let's all focus on what each of us can do to achieve this massive need. ولكن في ظل ما يحدث في العالم من ارتفاع نسب الفائدة من القلق من الركود من التضخم هل ما زالت مستهدفات تحول الطاقة قائمة؟ Look, I think the fact of the matter is. Apart from anything else, purely for humanitarian reasons, we all need to pray and hope that the Russian war comes to an end as quickly as possible. But we cannot allow that to determine the future of the planet or the, d determine the future of our grandchildren. It's very simple. Huh? So inflation, uh, interest rate rises, these are all consequences of supply-demand imbalances, economic development, the pace. And the climate change is influencing some of this too. So, but as we transition, think about the economic value creation as energy costs come down, with renewable energy costs driving the overall energy cost down. And as we deploy and all that economic activity, what that will mean to the world. So I am not that, these are all temporal. The energy transition and us addressing that energy transition over the next three decades is going to create a massive economic boom. Over time, interest rates will come down, economic activity will expand, supply chain issues will diminish. So this is over time. Okay, we just need to come through the next few years. Remain resilient, remain focused, forget about all this background noise. ولكن جميع هذه العوامل مؤثرة. إذا ما تحدثنا عن قطاع المعادن فهو بعد الحرب الروسية الأوكرانية شهدت ارتفاعات كبيرة في الأسعار كيف سيؤثر ذلك على قطاع الطاقة المتجددة؟ Look, okay, so one of the issues is that all for me I'm much much more concerned about something else and I'll break, come up with that just now. Everybody is concerned about the minerals and the metals and have we got enough the, the actual resources available? How quickly can we deploy them and grow them? Look again, I think lithium. Okay, let's take just one, lithium. Lithium is available everywhere. It's in the soil. The issue with lithium is that it's very energy intensive to extract. Again, as the cost of energy comes down, processing technology improves, we will find multiple sources. For the moment, we have just focused. See, supply demand drives uh, that sort of business enterprise. Now that we need more lithium, There's a hell of a lot more activity in discovering more locations, and we will start to develop. Yes, there is a time gap, but I think the world is capable of accelerating all of this. For me, what is much more concerning is the human resource capacity that we need to ramp up, okay? We need 20 to 30 times more people who are appropriate mindset, who are technically qualified, to really participate and implement this energy transition. Growing capacity of equipment, components, uh, new mines, these are all things we do over five years, 10 years. Transforming people's minds, educating people, bringing them into the right employment is not 10 years, it's generational. So this is the one I think we are not focusing on and we need to focus. That's what is going to hold us back. I'm not concerned with anything else. Enormous amount of money that is available. 
that is looking for the right well-structured projects, particularly in the area of clean and green. So financing is not the issue. We have proven it as aqua power. Huh? Over the last, uh, just in the last 15 years, we have built a portfolio of 75 plus billion dollars of assets in not just in one country, in 13 countries, and some of them are more challenging countries. So money is not the problem. And as we continue to grow, our expectation is for ourselves to grow from 75 billion to 250 billion dollars in, in the next eight years. We're not concerned about the investment side of it. Money will come. We have strong shareholders. The world is out there to provide to competent people who are doing the right thing.